Well, hello everyone. I'm Clyde with PT3D and I am in the lab today. And it's noisy. So I'm sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> so, as promised, here is the wall. And uh, I had a little bit of an issue with the wall. I was using tape to hold these tiles up and it didn't work. Um, it got so warm in here because of the 3D printing that they actually fell off the wall, so I had to reaffix them using this blue putty, which you can see, unfortunately, through the uh, hex tile, so I'm sorry for that, but yes, so we have talked about several times, I think, the Pusa Studios site, so I think we'll come, we'll come back to you guys because we want to go to Grand Garage. So, I would like to take a moment to pull up Grand Garage on YouTube. So, we're doing that right now. Now, I can't swap the camera around, and I'm doing this kind of as a one-shot deal, so I apologize. But we're going to do this if my computer behaves, because my computer is just really, really tired today. It's angry with me. Very angry. Sorry, I'm waiting for the computer to respond to my commands, and it's not wanting to do that. Here we go. Ah, we got another printer that just started up. Ooh, cool. So we got three printers running today. So we've got, while well, it's loading up the website, we've got our little project here. This is the CR-10S, and the CR-10S has actually been a really good machine for me. And... What he's printing right now is a half pipe for my son. He does the little fingerboards and he said, Dad, I need a ramp that'll work for this. So, this is actually going to be a fairly large ramp. It's got two, um, I guess they're quarter pipes, I guess. Um, and that's where, you know, each end is kind of, you know, a quarter of a radius of a circle type thing. And then it goes into the flat, you know, regular deck. And then it goes back into another quarter round. <coughs> so... I designed it in Fusion 360 with the one quarter round on the end, a deck, and a quarter round on the other side. And what I'm doing is I'm actually printing two decks so he can have a little bit longer deck so he can really kind of have fun with it. So we're going to see how that works. I'm not sure. Project number two is on the CR-10S, okay, which is right here. This is my CR-10S. Um, so you can see the motor, or the, the, you know, the electronic end of things, power supply and all that, and then the printing area, and of course this is printing beautifully, this is printing a PETG, which is, or PETG, depending on how you want to say it. Um, this filament prints at about 260 degrees Celsius, which is a <coughs> hatchbox printing filament. Um, the Chiron over there is using uh, Amazon Basics uh, PLA, which I've actually had some pretty good luck with. So, But this is what I call a functional print, which I don't know if you can see that or not, but a functional print means that when I, when I design something in Fusion 360 for a purpose, as opposed to art, this one is designed for the Pinewood Derby racetrack. We have an aluminum track for the Cub Scouts and the Boy Scouts, and uh, we noticed that the little um, wedges at the end of the finish line, where the cars hit and slow down, well, the ends have started to break off because the track's old, and we could get new ones, but I was like, well, I've got a 3D printer, so why not make something that I can stick into the end and give it a little flap, so if the car goes to the end, it'll hit that flap. So that's what I'm 3D printing now out of PETG. And finally, this is Jenny. Okay, 8675309. Jenny is a Ultimaker clone or knockoff <coughs> from China. And uh, this one is 3D printing. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> this is my Maker coin that I designed for 2019. And uh, what does that look like, you might ask? 
because it's really hard to see. I'm using a purple filament right now, and this is what it looks like. So, yeah, there's my maker coin. Okay, so we are going into YouTube right now. And again, we're focusing on Grand Garage. Okay, so we are subscribed, thankfully. So that'll make finding it much easier. I have a lot of you guys on my uh, to watch list. Um, I have like about an hour or so at night that I spend going through and watching different videos and just basically having a good time watching your guys' content. So, and Grand Garage, is this the one? Oh, wait a minute, hold on, this might not be it. So now I gotta look. All right, I gotta go into Twitter and make sure I have the right one. Because there is a different one. Or it might be the same one, I'm not sure. So we're gonna go look. So you can like, oh, and then D. This is the uh, food dehydrator that I use for my filament, by the way. Just gonna take a second. Go figure. It's like the first one. It's always going to be the hardest. I got to get my. Uh... <coughs> well, that's from Peugeot. That's probably not the one. That's. Uh... Always helps to have the uh, the correct login address so I can uh, actually find this. Oh man, that is not the right one. So I'm gonna have to go back and do this because I, I really don't want I don't want to give uh, false attribution. I want to make sure that I get your correct your uh, correct YouTube because that would just be silly if I didn't. So I may have to come back to you. So you're going to have to give me the uh, your URL to your YouTube channel just in case. Let's look at... I'm looking. Sorry, this is the boring part of my video apparently. going through my notifications. I don't like having a, this dead time. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, Grand Garage, this is your your time. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get back to me, okay? And uh, go down to my my list, okay? So just uh, I want to make sure I give give credit to the right you know person. So please um, leave a message down below in the chat, or you can directly message me and. Uh, my uh, Twitter. Okay. Um, so I guess uh, instead, this one's the easiest one ever. So we have uh, Busa Studios. Since you were the first one, um, if you guys don't have a chance to check out their page, it's right here. So 
yeah, I mean, go take a look at their videos, okay? They give you a lot of great tech tips. They give you a lot of tips on how to grow your channel, how to network with people, and just generally, they're awesome people. Um, they did the, uh, with this stream the other day, it's all right, um, but it's like to fly and stuff like that. And they bring on a lot of different uh, channels and talk to them directly, you know. So there's a whole lot of great information with them. And they're always willing to help you out with, uh, you know, giving you pointers if you win the spin on their wheel. To, like, you know, just to help you, you know, critique your website on YouTube. And, you know, how your presence looks. And ways to, like, you know, get things just a little bit better for you. So, yeah. Just a, you know, good shout out to Pusa Studios. And like I said, or Pusha, sorry. I always forget exactly how you pronounce that. But yeah, just, you know, follow them. You know, go take a look at their stuff. It's, they're, they're awesome. Okay. So, and thank you for helping me come up with the idea for the x wall project. Of course, my friend Katya, she's awesome. Um, and you can't, the, I was hoping that the, uh, the resolution would be a little better for the Odessa, you know, woodworking and, uh, maker shop. So we're gonna, we may revisit that one at some point. Um, and of course we got Ryan, Mr. Buckram, you know, he, uh, was kind enough to supply his logo as well. So, like I said, we'll, we'll go through and we'll talk about more of these later. But I wanted to keep this kind of as a quick, brief you know, stream thing or recording. And of course my, my Lego head, which I'm very fond of that. But we will close out with uh, looking at some of these prints real quick and see what their status is. So there's the, uh, the Maker Coin. And there is my functional print for the racetrack. And lastly, on the Chiron is a whole lot of plastic being put down so you have no idea what this is going to look like because it takes forever to print these layers especially when I'm going so slow but I prefer slow on this printer because even though it's huge and that makes no sense to most people slow on this printer means higher quality prints and uh, I try to do you know when I get stuff like this you know I want to make sure that I'm able to capture as much of that detail as possible. So, anyway, I'm Clyde, PT3D, and I thank you for watching. And please, it's not too late. I, I have this, let me show you. See this wall? I want you on this wall. This is where I want you to be. I want you to keep me company when I'm doing streams and when I'm doing video. Okay, I want this to be a background some days. Just like I've got my little green screen back there to do background some days. So, please, submit your, your, your hex tile. Let me know. If, <coughs> excuse me. If you just want text, not a logo, let me know. I will do that. I'll just put the text on there. Um, ideally, if you have your logo, I can just kind of print it from this. So, um, yeah. So, you know, it's not too late. There's still plenty of space on this wall. And I will catch you guys on the next video. So, I'll see you later.